Hello there, Eruner here, and today we are going to talk about Paris and how to play him in the competitive battles. So, uh, Paris is uh, focused on missiles, and to make them uh, work well, you need choke points, a lot of choke points. For example, in a map like Hyperion's Rubble, you got a lot of hills. Uh, your small passages which you can block and shoot so this map is usually very good for the Paris now how to build Paris as you can see most of times people will start with uh, let's say elite the most elite missiles uh, but I, I really know that this would be a waste of your funds. To support your missiles you will need a lot of troops. You cannot go with uh, with solid infantry and archers because you will not have enough units. So uh, I highly recommend always bringing two nobles and then uh, uh, bring a lot of cheap units to be your frontline fodder. Most of the time they will pin enemy units and block enemy flankers so you will got a time to do damage with missiles. By judging the map we got a lot of uh, flat terrain or terrain without any trees or scraps and we will use our chariot to help a to support our missiles and infantry. So, what else should we bring as Paris? We got also an option to bring Trojan Noble Chariot, which is a very strong alternative to heavy Trojan Chariots, and it's it's a missile unit, and it's actually good in the combat. You can throw it into the melee and. It will do a lot of damage, so it's up to you to choose between one of them. Uh, now let's say we go with just Heavy Chariot. And what to do with Hero? We can bring a standard Hero with Blood Sacrifice and Terrify. Many players will be tempted to use Paris. If so, use at least Archer Chariot, so he can move around and snipe elite units. But for same job, I highly recommend bringing much cheaper hero instead. Or maybe this one. Be oh, this one is better when dismounted. So, so this skirmisher will be much better on the chariot. If you really want to have chariot. Uh, to deal with enemy hero, you want to bring giant champions. Or maybe two or three giant vanguard. They are pretty very good at blocking enemy chariot and dealing with enemy heroes. So maybe just bring hmm we want as many units as possible and we uh, we also want to bring good strong uh, missile core. Uh, if the enemy does not have strong or two, two threatening missiles, we shall bring renowned archers. Uh, they deal a, a lot of DPS and have a lot of models and this would be very wise spending of, of your funds for bringing as much missile damage as possible. Uh, what else do we want to bring? Uh, Often time we can bring shielded spear warriors just one or two to use their two-handed melee not because of their stats or damage but to have the shield on their back so your missiles are not killing uh, these these guys so that's a very nice synergy instead we can uh, also try using heavy trojan spearmen they also can put shields on the back and uh, they will survive slightly better. Okay, 
now I have to decide what do we have we have some we need <laughs> we will have the missile supremacy we will have a lot of troops uh, we need some good infantry to fight or to finish off enemy units maybe I will just really go with the with these two kind of spears so I spent a lot of funds efficiently so now let's let's have a quick look how we would normally go and proceed with this battle as the Paris we are not going to just hold ground but we will be a little bit proactive uh, right now we got two options first one is getting here or maybe we can decide to go this way the enemy will most likely to uh, to deploy where where hmm let me check here enemy got some coverage from trees this is one favorite uh, deployment zone and the second one enemy can decide to hold this ground and wait so let's imagine our enemy will be just camping here uh, but we will come and absolutely deal with it the very first is our ar archer hero on skirmish chariot he will be able to go shoot and be here just to deal some damage and provoke enemy to go after you for that we will need to set up some front line let's start with the very first line they got some shields they will be just to hold enemy units and behind them we want our missiles we will have very nice range so next thing is our chariot uh, there is a lot of uh, nice ground here chariot will be able to deal damage so we really want to have fight somewhere here here and slowly coming closer so the chariot can do some nice damage as well then we got giants usually we accompany our chariots with giants but since these guys can one guard deploy we can already prepare them in ambushing position so if your hero will be having problems somewhere here we can instantly bring our giants to support it and then we got remaining troops so we got more more fodder the second line and lastly we got our very good durable front line and we really want to use shields on the back for our missiles so this would be the strategy for the Paris your hero is skirmishing uh, you bring the cheap fodder forward the remaining fodder as well you stick your archers together uh, you have heavy infantry in reserves you wait with chariots for a perfect opportunity and when needed you utilize your giants so that would be a battle tactics for Faris I hope you will have more luck with this faction in multiplayer battles. That is all, see you later.